I'm going to teach you guys how to turn off the tap. In today's video, I'm going to explain the concept of a non-ejaculatory orgasm for men. Yes, it's possible. Yes, every guy can do it. And yes, it's not that complicated. So let's get stuck into it and use your new superpowers for good only. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star. I'm also a former high-class male companion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, it's entirely possible for men to ejaculate without orgasming and orgasm without ejaculating. And I'm going to kind of explain what these two are and how they're different right now. For those of you who might be a little bit confused when I throw out words like that. So the difference between ejaculation and orgasm, the way I kind of like to describe it, or well, the, the way that's easiest for guys to understand so that they can learn from the stuff that I teach anyway. So ejaculation is just is when the seminal fluid comes out your dick, right? Sperm, semen, seminal fluid, that's ejaculation, when that stuff leaves your dick, right? Orgasm is the full body release. It's like the chemical release, the chemical brain dump, the chemical release of prolactin, specifically. Because when you have an orgasm, right, that chemical brain dump of prolactin, that is what triggers the male refractory period. And the refractory period is the time you have to take off between orgasms between being able to get hard and aroused again so those two things uh it's important to, to notice the difference between them and that they're separate now it is possible to have a orgasm without ejaculating and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video it's not actually that complicated it's actually relatively easy to pull off and any guy can do this and in fact I did it for the first time when I was in my life when I was 16 I went to this to this shit at 16 what kind of 16 year old is sitting around learning this stuff and actually putting this stuff into practice? The kind who will go on to become an award-winning adult film star, that's who. Now the opposite of that is ejaculating without orgasming. And we've kind of touched on this in previous videos, is this idea of like a, or one of the easiest ways of achieving this is what we would call a ruined orgasm. Now we're not really gonna get into those details today, but it's basically you stimulate yourself to the point that the ejaculatory response triggers, but you don't kind of cross that point of no return where you have an orgasm, where your body spasms, the PC muscle contracts and, and spasms, and you have that chemical brain dump uh, of prolactin, and it's officially, you know, that's an orgasm. So we're not going to go into detail about that today, but that's the difference between these two different scenarios we're talking about. So how do you have an orgasm without ejaculating? Well, I'm going to give you two different methods. I'm going to give you the professional, the hard way, that's the first method, and then I'm going to give you the cheater's way, which is the easy way, which is the way that I learned uh, initially when I was 16, and it was a little biohack, a little cheat code. So let's get stuck into the first way, because the first way, if you can learn to do this, boy oh boy, you will have tremendous control over your body and over your sex life. So the first way you do this, the first way you have an orgasm without ejaculating at all, is by having a strong PC muscle, a strong Kegel muscle, and flexing at the moment of orgasm. So what you're doing is just applying so much pressure through that PC muscle, through that strong pelvic floor, that it stops the flow of ejaculate out of the penis during the orgasm. And you have to have enough control to basically hold it to hold that pressure, hold that tension, hold that pelvic floor during what would naturally be orgasmic spasms. And you have to kind of resist them and you have to kind of like hold that bad boy in place. Now, you can learn to do this. You can learn to strengthen that pelvic floor through what we call Kegels. I've done videos on Kegels before, but for those who need reminding, Kegels are that clinching of the PC muscle that you would do when you're trying to stop the flow of urine whilst you're peeing. So imagine, you're peeing and you're trying, you want to stop the pee from coming out, bang, that clenching, that is one Kegel, technically, that's the clenching of the PC muscle of the pelvic floor, that is what you're doing at the point of orgasm to stop the ejaculate from coming out. Now, why might you want to do this? Well, maybe you're a dumbass and you didn't wear a condom and she's not on birth control and you don't want to get her pregnant. This might be a very, very useful time to employ this tactic. Maybe 
You don't want to make a mess, I don't know, whatever the- <laughs> Look, sometimes it's just fun to be able to do cool shit with your body. That's why I'm teaching you this. Now, don't get me wrong, this takes a tremendous amount of practice and a tremendous amount of control and a lot of strength in the pelvic floor. You're not going to be able to do this off-rip the first time you try it, you're not going to be able to do this by just doing like kegels for like a week or two. This will take consistent effort if you actually want to achieve this level of control and this level of mastery over your PC muscle, over your orgasmic spasms, and uh, stopping that flow of the ejaculate. Now, the second way you achieve this, this uh, orgasming without ejaculating, is what I call the cheater's way, the cheater's method. Uh, it's kind of like a biohack, and literally all you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of fingers, and you're going to press on the gooch area behind your balls. So between the balls and the anus, I don't know, what we affectionately refer to as the gooch, for want of a better scientific term, I guess. Or maybe that is a scientific term, I can't remember. Anyway, you're going to apply pressure there with a couple of fingers. And you're going to need to apply a fair bit of pressure, because what you're actually doing is there's a tube there where the ejaculate passes through. And you're literally just pressing so that the tube collapses. Kind of like putting a kink in a garden hose, or pressing really, really hard on a garden hose. Stepping on a garden hose, probably the better analogy. So you're doing that, but with the tube that your ejaculate flows down. So you're literally, you're in the process of orgasming, you shove two fingers, you don't shove them up your ass, don't be an idiot. <laughs> it's between the butthole and the balls, that's the gooch. You're pressing into that spot, and as you're climaxing, as you're orgasming, that will, you'll be able to feel, the, and you'll feel that. You'll feel the pressure as it, your fingers are on there, you'll feel the, the sort of wave of pressure pushing against your fingers, trying to let the sperm out. And if you let go, it'll come out. But you can apply the pressure there, stop your ejaculate from coming out, and voila, you just achieved an orgasm without ejaculating. Now, here's something else I need to reiterate and, and mention here, is that you don't want to do this all the time. You don't want to do this consistently, because it's not necessarily great to have like a backup of seminal fluid in your tubes. Okay, you, do want, you want that stuff to kind of come out pretty periodically, Okay, you don't want it to just sit there and be back up, backed up. You, you might be able to get, you might, it might lead to a, uh, you know, a urinary tract infection or something if you just let it sit there for forever. So, this is just, like I said, it's like a biohack. It's a cool thing you could do. It's partly about understanding and knowing your own body and what it's capable of. For what of, there's no, there's no, it's not necessarily a super, super practical reason to do this unless you didn't wear, like I said, you didn't wear a condom and you're a dumbass and you don't want to get her pregnant, well, maybe then it's time to just, whoop, oh, Jesus, stop, you know, this, think of it as the emergency break on pregnancy. Putting your finger on that gooch, stopping that pipe from uh, letting any semen out. The emergency pregnancy break. That's what we're calling it now. And speaking of avoiding getting people pregnant, have you been secretly sterilized? Find out right here.